What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got ourselves another Lexus here. This is an IS350 F Sport. I've never done this body style of IS before, so let's get in it and see how it does. Back seat's tight, I'm not gonna lie. Let's go to the front. Let's begin. And now for the button test.
And now for the final button. That's cool. Odometer, I know you're curious. Anyway, how did it do? Guys, I gotta tell you, this was a little bit disappointing. Uh, quite a few areas creaked in this car. I am actually a little bit surprised. I thought Lexus would do a little better. I guess not in this one. It's not as bad as the GLB that I just did. That car was definitely worse. This one is not too terribly far off. I can commend this car though for the solid center console lid, armrest, whatever. And the overhead console is pretty solid. Everything else was, if it wasn't iffy, it was kind of bad. So, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 for fit and finish. As far as materials go, we are looking better. I actually like the soft touch vinyl that Lexus used. This feels pretty good actually. It reminds me of Audi. And it's even softer material on the dash here. Like this is almost like pillowy. Very nice. And then the uh, Audi-like material continues up here. This car doesn't really have like a metal or wood finish to it. At least I don't really see it. It's not obvious if it's in here. Uh, you do have hard plastic though by the glove box here and lower basically by your knees and lower hard crappy plastic which doesn't really shock me for this car's class and price range we do have these seats here I know I know Lexus always uses man-made leather for cars like these I was never really sure what it was called though now I know what it's called it's new Lux synthetic leather seats and they feel so much better than the German competitors fake leather the headliner is cloth the Sun visor is also cloth not too bad and then the buttons and switch gears um, on pretty much all Lexus or Lexi they are pretty mediocre they look nice from a distance they like they look you know a little different when you touch them though they're really nothing special like for example this little cluster of buttons I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't in a RAV4 and then a couple of these media buttons here like these guys here when you press on them touch it with your fingertips they literally feel like the buttons from the VCR I had when I was a kid in 2003 little things like that the buttons aren't great but I guess they're not bad like objectively bad either so I'd give this interior a 6 out of 10 for materials that seems about right so there you guys have it your final score is 5 out of 10 for fit and finish 6 out of 10 for materials please let me know your thoughts I have not really driven this car outside of the parking lot I'm in can't comment on the driving experience I'm not even going to attempt to so don't know we'll have to let you know interesting little car it's a little bit tight sitting in here you definitely feel like you're in a cockpit compared to uh, some other cars the only thing I can really negatively say aside from the fit and finish and materials of this interior is this screen it looks so so dated look at look at these bezels though this is like over an inch of bezel right here look at this what is this 2010 thick bezels the resolution on this screen is not great it's not really f that fast either they're just way behind on screens I know this has Apple CarPlay Android Auto finally I heard Lexus and Toyota took forever with that but just this is a 2021 model year car a screen like this is honestly inexcusable at least it doesn't creak but yeah let me know what you guys think thanks for watching the video and i'll see you next time peace